what I'm describing is the selection of a purposive sample. Sometimes the word purposive and the word convenience, convenience sample, are used interchangeably. And they're not the same thing at all. If you just go to the nearest areas, the quickest ones, the first ones you can find, that's a convenience sample. If you're thinking through where you go, even though it doesn't have statistical representativity, that's a purposive sample. We went to this community on purpose because we think that they are the kind of people who we need to reach. And we use our prior information to say that they are like other communities of that type. That's a purposive sample where you can squeeze a lot more information out of the information that, out of the data that you've collected to describe in a broad outline the major impact on a larger population. It is not statistically representative, but it is verbally or qualitatively generalizable if you make those arguments. Now, what if you've gone to those four or five communities and you find that they're not similar? The more variability between the different areas you've gone to of a, of a particular type, the more communities you're going to have to go to to be able to say, we now have the range or we see the central tendency among this group. The higher the variability, the larger the sample you'll need. So we can't say at the outset how large it needs to be. But for phase for one or phase two, usually it never needs to be among, among uh, uh, more than 30, 35, 40. If you're going to 50 or 60 communities, it's because you haven't thought it through or explained it well enough and you're being too defensive. Better to think it through and not depend on large numbers to look representative because you're still not technically statistically representative in the sample that you've taken. You can use prior information to decide where to go. The more prior information you have, the better the sample you're going to select. If some communities have been visited and they get, you already have from observers some general outlines of what they're like, then you want to select communities like that, but you don't want to go back to the same community. You want to extend your knowledge to see if others that are like them are indeed similar to those ones that you've heard about in the first day or two. That way you build on the very thin level of knowledge in phase one to get a deeper, still not statistically representative amount of uh, bundle of knowledge in phase two.